Yes. So uh, we are done with the linear inequalities. Now and quadratic inequalities. Now we are going to start with the logarithmic inequalities, or you can say log inequalities. A log inequality you can simply define it like this: that log of some base a x greater than zero or less than zero. Now there is a catch in here. The catch is depending on this value a. Obviously, the first condition is that x has to be greater than zero, not even equal to zero. This is the first condition. So there are two to three conditions that you need to follow. This is the first condition that x has to be greater than zero. Whatever there is inside the log, it has to be greater than zero. Now the condition comes for the base. If base is between zero to one, and if you take the empty log, so what will happen? Look here. If you if you take the empty log for the base less than one. Then this inequality changes, and this becomes a to the power of zero. That means x is less than one. Now, when base is greater than one, there is no problem. The sign won't change, and x must be greater than a to the power of zero. That means x greater than one. Why this is happening? Because the graph behaves differently. The graph is different for a greater than one, for a less than one. For a less than zero, the graph is like this. So after the value one, this is value one. After the value one, the graph is negative. So if you want the positive values, then you have to be before one. The values of x have to be before one. Now, on the same hand, if you have a greater than one, then the graph is like this. So if you want positive values, then you have to go ahead of one. Okay. So this is for a greater than one, and the red one is for a between zero to one. So check for x. The first condition. Second condition. Check for the base. And then we have to check that that any indeterminate form that is occurring in between. We have to check for those as well. Indeterminate form, or whenever you have got the answer, at least check it once back in the question. Okay. Now, for example, let's take a question that let's say that I want log of x square minus 5x plus 6 to be greater than zero. So base is greater than one because the log it is written wrong here, so the base is 10, so we don't have to worry about it. Now, the first condition is. X square minus 5x plus 6 has to be greater than z because negative inside the log is not allowed. Then, if I take the empty log, then after taking empty log, this becomes x square minus 5x plus 6 must be greater than 10 to the power z. That means x square minus 5x plus 5 greater than z. So these are the two conditions. First condition is giving you minus infinity to 2 union. Three to infinity. The roots are two and three. This condition will give you x belongs to minus infinity to alpha union beta to infinity. Suppose that the roots are alpha and beta. Okay. Now the main thing to look after here is that that there are two inequalities. You have to take their intersection. Why we are taking the intersection? It is because that they have to be two at the same time. They are going to satisfy this collinear function. So you have to take the intersection of these two sets. When you take the intersection, you will reach the answer. So remember that in solving one inequality, if there are various conditions, then you have to take their intersections. Now, if this, this is a very basic question. Now let's move to some good question. Okay. Well, uh, good question. That means the base is also variable. X minus two. Okay. X square minus eight x plus fifteen greater than zero. Now, here there are various cases. First of all, what I can think is that x square minus eight x plus fifteen has to be greater than zero. No matter the base is positive or negative, this has to be greater than zero. So that means. X is x minus three 
x minus 5 greater than 0, the inequality is minus infinity to 3 union 5 to infinity. So this is our first condition that we got from this. The second condition that I am going to write is comprising it, it comprises of two conditions. First conditions when x minus 2 that is our base it is greater than 1. If x minus 2 is greater than 1 then this condition says me that x must be greater than 3. If x is greater than 3 then this value is greater than 1. Now if I take the empty log here then the sign won't change because the base is greater than 0. So x square minus 8x plus 15 must be greater than x minus 2 to the power 0. That means x square minus 8x plus 15 greater than 1 x square minus 8x plus 14 greater than 0. Now you can see clearly that d is greater than 0. So there are two roots minus infinity to alpha union beta to infinity. Okay. Now at the same time there is another case. The second case that says that x minus 2 is between 0 to 1. That means x is between x has to be between 2 to 3. Now this is the condition that has to be true always. One more condition, this is let's say condition number one. One condition you will get from this condition and this condition's intersection. So from 3 and 4's intersection, let's say this is A. So from 3 and 4's intersection, intersection, you will get let's say condition B. Okay? You will get let's say condition B. What about this case? In this case, let's say that x minus 2 is 0 to 3, so x belongs to 0, 2 to 3. Now 2 to 3 that means it is included in this interval so we are fine x square minus 8x plus 15 less than 1 that means x square minus 8x plus 14 less than 0 so again the answer is alpha to beta now this is our condition let's say 1 and this is our 2 so one condition will come from 1 and 2's intersection 1 intersection 2. This is let's say condition number C. Our final answer is actually condition A intersection B union condition A intersection condition C. This is the common condition. This is a con this condition, B condition is for this case number 1. This is the common condition, it has to be true for both the cases. So this is the common condition, this, con this condition is for A base greater than 1. So that means one condition will come from this and this intersection. Because this is comprising one case. This is comprising another case. So there are two cases. But this is a universal condition because whatever is there inside log, it has to be greater than 0. So this is, that's what I have done here. So this condition is a universal condition. Uh, whereas these two conditions, they are base dependent conditions. So there can be one, one solution set will be where base is less than 1. Another solution set is for where base is greater than 1. So base le less than, base greater than 1 and intersection with common condition. Base less than 1, intersection with common condition. You, it, it can happen that your intersection may lead you to 5, that nothing is found. So there is no problem. But you have to remember all these conditions simultaneously. The condition on base, the condition on whatever inside, and the biggest confusion is what to take. We have to take union or we have to take intersection. Always remember that if there are different cases, then you have to take their union. But if there are conditions within the same case, then you have to take intersection. So remember, where to take units and where to take intersection. So uh, if you have understand these things, then uh, there is no other concept in inequalities as such. Remember that uh, you have to practice lots and lots of questions to uh, understand this concept into get a food. So I hope that everything is clear to you. Now we'll meet in the next lecture with some next topic. Thank you.